You are on the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick, and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 250,000 reputation points. And what I love the most is sharing educational breakdowns that show you how you can be looking for the best trading opportunities in the market. So without further ado, let's go and see which is today's Forex pair that we need to break down. The pair that I want to speak about in this video is GBP USD, one of the most traded pairs in the market. And why do I want to speak about GBP USD? Because we are very near to having a quite good trading opportunity on it. So what I want to do is give you guys a full educational breakdown of the situation that we currently have to show you where we can be looking for the next potential opportunity. So first, I will be covering the technical aspect of this market. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective by checking the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are doing in the market. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of our technical analysis and our order flow analysis, we will be able to understand where we have the highest probability opportunity on this pair. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what do we see now here in the monthly? We can see how the market had provided this W formation. Now, generally speaking, after the creation of a W formation, what you expect is first for the market to complete the W at the neckline, which is the previous resistance turn support. And after the completion of the W, what you expect is for the market to provide the continuation to the upside, possibly for the creation of a higher high. So here in the monthly time frame, everything seems quite clear. We do expect the market, we did expect the market to provide this continuation to the upside. And now we have a very similar pattern because we have a new impulse and correction. And generally speaking, after the creation of an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of this impulse, we can see that we have a 50% and 0.382 confluence of support area, which is all around here, which we do expect the market to potentially test before our rejection to the upside. So we do expect the market here on the monthly time frame to provide a deeper correction inside of this confluence of support area before a continuation to the upside. Going down on the weekly time frame, what do we see now here on the weekly? Price action is quite clear. We can see how this how this area and level was acting as very strong support here and again support here. And we can see how the market has just broken this support to the downside. At this point, all this previous support is now turned resistance at this level. And we do expect the market to test and potentially reject this zone to the downside. So here in the weekly, everything is quite clear. We do expect the market and we did expect the market to test and reject this area to the downside. Going down on the daily, time frame, what do we have? Now here on the daily, we can see how the market at the moment has provided some quite interesting structure. Now, first of all, I had spoken about the GBP USD after the creation of this move to the upside. When the market was at this level, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from this zone, we expected the market to provide this move to the downside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. Then we had a creation of this M pattern here. And when the market was at this level, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we expected the market to provide this move to the upside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. Then we had the creation of this overextended M pattern. And from here, I made a full breakdown explaining why we wanted to see this move to the upside. Then from here, we wanted to see the continuation to the downside. However, the market stopped at the previous low and created this move to the upside, after which we had the creation of this W plus confluence of resistance from which I made another breakdown explaining why we wanted to see the move to the downside. And by the way, I will link in description all this previous analysis so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. Just a quick thing for more educational breakdowns, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Now at the moment here on the daily, what we have is a market which is testing strong daily resistance. In fact, this area here, if we extend it to the left, we can see how it was actually a historical structure level for this market, acting as support here, again, support here, again, support here. The market then broke below the zone 
And at that point, this previous support was turned resistance at this zone. We then had a break to the upside, break back down. And currently, we are testing this previous resistance, which is now again resistance here. And we do expect the market, and we did expect the market to test and potentially reject this zone to the downside, since, as we have already seen on the monthly, we do expect the market to provide a deeper correction. Now, as I have already shown, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse. And if we do that, what we can see is that at the moment we have resistance all across this zone, given by the 0.382 50% and 0.618 golden ratios of the Fibonacci's taken on this daily impulse, lining up with the historical structure level that we have already identified. Going and going to check what we have from a COT perspective, what can we notice? Now, if we go and see what we have here, we can see that on the pound, and keep in mind that if you check the data for the pound, you're actually checking GBP USD because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. What we can see here is that net positions have been dropping quite dramatically. In fact, we went from having 36K net positions all the way down to having 19K net positions meaning that hedge funds and big institutions went from having 65k long positions on the pound all the way down to 45k. And if we go and see what we had on the shorts, we can see that overall shorts have been slightly decreased. However, not as much as the longs. And that is why net positions dropped quite, quite strongly. And this means that overall, since we have seen a shift from an institutional perspective to the negative side of GBP USD, this means that we can easily expect the market to provide the deeper correction that we already wanted to see by checking the monthly time frame at the beginning of the analysis from a technical perspective. So how we can be approaching this potential shorting opportunity here on GBP USD and how we will be approaching it with students. Now, as usual, we will be reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. But when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best timeframes are the intraday timeframes, so for hour and lower. So with students, what we will be doing is monitoring price action from a four hour perspective and lower instead of this area waiting for the market to shift from a four hour and lower bullish market as we will have to a four hour and lower bearish market. And as soon as the market will shift from a bullish to a bearish market at that point, we will be adding GBP USD to our watch list with students. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside and for the market to provide a lower low. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. You can also go and check out the mentorship program. The link is in the description. It's a very complete program. First, you learn all the rules of my rule-based strategies. Then you trade the strategies with me. In fact, every day I give you a new daily market breakdown showing you how to apply the strategies with the entries, stops, and take profits. And we also have a daily Q&A session in which I answer all your questions. So it's a very complete program. I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it.